King Charles III, 75, is not only battling cancer but also his scandal-plagued younger brother, Prince Andrew, 64, for his lavish home the Royal Lodge. New reports reflect that the monarch could be exercising his royal authority for Queen Camilla, 76, in order to give the estate to her upon his death. As Dowager Queen, Camilla would be stepmother, not mother, to King William, royal expert Richard Eden told an outlet. And William will inherit everything, just as Charles did from his mother, including Clarence House, where Charles and Camilla live when they are in London. He added, as Prince of Wales, William already owns the King's beloved Gloucestershire home, Highgrove. The moment Charles III dies, just as it was when Queen Elizabeth II passed away, not only will William accede immediately as monarch, but his wife, Kate, Princess of Wales, would instantly become Her Majesty the Queen. The current Queen would then be known thereafter as Her Majesty Queen Camilla, and would be a Dowager Queen consort just like the late Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother was. The new King would not be duty-bound to do or give his stepmother anything, although royal tradition dictates a Dowager Queen live her widowhood in a secondary royal residence of her choosing. Former Queen's consort have also customarily continued to represent the new monarch and institution with royal engagements. Eden continued, so, Charles will be determined to make sure that Camilla is kept in the manner to which she has become accustomed. Might that include guaranteeing her a country bolt hole in Windsor Great Park? Some royal analysts feel the king will need to make some kind of binding will to ensure his queen is well maintained, this is seemingly due to analysts who feel a King William will be resentful of the Dowager Queen. The heir to the throne, 41, reportedly once said he would restore his late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales HRH style by a special letters patent when he is king. Elizabeth II infamously took the style from his mother when she and his father, the then Prince Charles, divorced in 1996. Although framed as a slight for years, the late monarch was simply following protocol as Diana was no longer royal. Additional reports have claimed the king wants Andrew's home of 20 years for the Prince and Princess of Wales. If these narratives are to be believed, the monarch wants the home to belong to William and Kate, even though their London base is Kensington Palace. The future king and queen and their children rarely stay in Kensington and mostly spend 100% of their time at Adelaide Cottage, also near Windsor Castle. The country home is fairly modest for the most senior-ranked royals, under the king and queen. Neither seems to be interested in the jewel in the royal residential portfolio. GBN reported on Eden's remarks.